Yeah. Oh. And yet, that fella, um, ranked, I don't know where, actually went the distance with Marcus, Marcus Bayer. Bayer. Yeah, well, Marcus Bayer was very, very, I guess, tentative in that fight. You could see him. I watched the fight countless times, and he's very, very nervous because he, he knows he had the fight against me after that, so he didn't want to take any risks or anything. And anything that happened to the sport of and get a cut. So, but his um, previous two fights, you said, were, were, were quite respectable. Oh yeah, definitely, and and and, and then know, he takes on this guy and, and he goes the distance. Well, he just wanted to get the victory and obviously make a little bit of money and then help with the purse bid so he can win the purse bid to beat our right. bid to try and win the right, fight right, in Australia. Right. So, so there were reasons behind. It was a financial, I guess, yeah. a financial decision. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I've, I don't have to. I can't worry about what Marcus does in in the hi in history, what he's done in the past. I've got about what it, worry about what he's doing now, and I know that the guy is going to be preparing like a demon to fight me because. It's in his hometown. They've chosen the place called Zwickau, which is his old hometown. Oh, the old um, Zwickau, right? Eh? Right on the Czech oh, border, and you. it's uh, deep in the heart of old East Germany. So it's going to be pretty hostile, which I love. It's going to be great. Yep. And, you know, I've just got to prepare another four weeks preparation to do. And Have you, you done anything different than going to training? Germany? You're going to L.A. to prepare. Well, yep. well I'm going there for the sparring to, and for yep. isolation. You get away from everything and yep. basically just to get away from all. And we've got so many... You're going to L.A. for from, isolation? Oh, I suppose <laughs> compared to Germany, yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, because of isolation away from... Australia, Australia yeah. because there's a lot of interest in the fight and, and, and people you know want to come down and watch your training. I got gotcha. you. Over in LA we're kind of unknown to a degree and you at the La Brea Boxing Gym down there it's just hardcore. There's no one else there, it's just us and that's what I like about what it. What about you gym. in the gym? Now a, a birdie told me that uh, Paulie Miller gave you a, a fair old workout today. Paul Miller's uh, the reason, well, the reason I chose Paul Miller is because he's an extremely good. talented fighter, you know. He's very, very, very balanced, very kind of, um, very European style, like if you know what I mean, like they stand up, they don't waste a lot of shots. Paul's eyes, he's got a beautiful eye, he sees punches coming, and South that's Port. the Southpaw makes it for a very awkward kind of a, a style. So that's why I've chosen Paul, and uh, you know, I'm prepared to, to, to fight and to spar with guys that are going to give me a really hard test in order to be better. Whereas some guys don't like to look bad in the gym, they just want to spar guys they look good against all the time, then come fight time, they're not going to look good. I don't care what I look like in the gym. I know that I'm doing the work and doing the work properly, mm -hmm. and if, if some days I have that aren't that good, that doesn't bother me because I know that it's all going to be it's all going to be paying off in the future come fight night because I've prepared and prepared with the best. A nightfall. Are they looking after you better financially this return fight with Bayer? Has it changed much? Yeah, it's changed a great deal. Yeah. Um, because I've made it that way because I've waited and waited and we've pushed and, and made sure that I'm a mandatory. Last fight, last time I fought, not for peanuts. I don't like using the word peanuts because you know. To me, thirty thousand dollars. We fought for thirty thousand dollars. That's mm -hmm. not a lot of money when no. it comes to a world title fight. But no. to to the average person working, you know, nine to five, thirty thousand dollars is a lot of money. So yeah. I don't like to say peanuts. It's disrespectful. But this time it's much better. But for a world title fight, yeah, we took the fight. I, I took the fight. Jeff said, "Do you want the fight, Granny?" And uh, we we spoke. And I said, "Yeah, let's yep. do it, Jeff. I think we can beat this guy and yep. be a huge opportunity, yep. which may not have come up, uh, you know, in the near future." So we took it and it paid off to a degree. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of paid off a lot more because the purse is obviously greater this time. And um, yeah. You know, I've just got, but I can't worry about money or anything else. I've just got to focus on, on what I've got to do inside the ropes and, and, and in the next three and a half, four weeks preparation. And it's Has Jeff had an approach to preparation t too much differently from the other fight, has he? Uh, well, actually, I did 12 rounds today, so I oh, probably really? started doing 12 rounds a lot earlier than I have um, really? last time. So, yeah, it is I want to be fitter and stronger going into the fight this time because I know that this guy's going to be... I'm going to be prepared for different styles of Marcus Bayer, styles of him trying to sit on and, and trade punches with me, him moving, him coming in and holding. I've got to be prepared and have more than one one or two game plans I've got to have a whole set so uh, when I go back to the corner Jeff says right out Greeny this is what he's doing bang 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 and Jeff's very good in the corner um, I think uh, you know when you get it when you go to a guy like Jeff who's got the experience and can see what he's doing what he's trying to do he can give you a few little tips and he only says a few little things and then sometimes you'll come back and you'll you know put a rocket up here and really get up here and then you go out there and you and you yep. go hard and do what you have to do. So yes, yeah, I got a bit of time after the show. If you want to go a couple, just, uh, <laughs> just out the hallway there. Yeah, so I'm going to run, Let's Billy. Go Sorry. Right now. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to have camera, a Camera, camera. This, right this is not rounds down at the pub, Billy. This is rounds. <laughs> I'll buy well, a round. You're uh, one of our favourites, Stanley, and uh, we wish you well. And next time you're on the program, you're going to be the WBC World Champion. Absolutely. Thanks very much for having me on, boys. Really great to see well. you again, Danny. And good Hopefully luck with everything, uh, mate. Do, do my whole country proud and, uh, and bring the total home March 13th in Australia. So Good thanks, guys.